Hello again everyone, I'm Jim from Influx. Welcome to another video. Uh, as you may have guessed by the title of this video, this is all going to be about the Gen 1 Cloud Key and uh, how much of a relevant device it is now in uh, well, the later end of 2021 going into 2022. Now, if you've never used one of these before, um, the Cloud Key was Ubiquiti's first standalone network controller. Uh, this was the device that ran the Unify network application. And previously you had to self-host the Unify network app on either a PC, a cloud, Pi, or anything sort of similar, whether it be Windows, uh, Linux, etc. Uh, now the uh, Gen 1 Cloud Key has had a few revisions, starting with the version one, and that was quickly replaced with the version two, which had a bit more storage internally. And then finally, the revision three, uh, which gained USB-C, two gigabytes of RAM internally, and a power button. Um, they all came with an eight gigabyte SD card to give backup capability, and were available, well, up until fairly recently. But to get hold of one now, you're probably looking at finding one second hand on Facebook or eBay. The Cloud Key was aimed at making hosting a Unify controller easy and at the same time allowing people to access the Cloud Key remotely if needed. It was a simple plug and play device that could be set up without any difficult instructions. Uh, it was the first of the Cloud Key family, obviously, and has obviously since been superseded by the Cloud Key Gen 2 and the Gen 2 Plus uh, alongside the Dream Machine, Dream Machine Pro, and coming soon, obviously, the Dream Machine Pro SE and the Dream Router when that gets launched. But for we who supported and used them, uh, actually, it was a very good little device for dealing with small sites that just needed a basic Unify controller on site that didn't have PCs on all the time, but uh, needed a controller. And uh, pretty much it allowed for lots of people to just plug and go and set up an entire Unify network. Now the Cloud Key Gen 1 does however have some limitations. Cloud Key 1 was designed for controlling small networks. This meant around 10 to 20 devices maximum and a client load of up to and around 80 to 100 clients. Depending on what the network was doing and how it was configured, this could go up or down as the Cloud Key would be gathering information as required and allowing the network admin to view this in a nice simple dashboard. Uh, in turn, this was also a weak point of the Cloud Key one um, early firmware unfortunately did suffer from problems and this turned a lot of people away from the device uh, if you lost power you had issues with the internal mongodb used by the unify network app and it would cause the database to fail corrupt itself and cause no end of problems having to usually the quickest result to get a network backup if that happened was just to restore it from a backup on a factory reset device and uh, away you went again. Uh, this obviously could be uh, fixed fairly quickly and easily um, and could easily be prevented with the addition of a UPS onto the network. But unfortunately, some people didn't have this. Some people did experience this without power failure. Um, there were some slightly wobbly firmware releases. The Cloud Key does, however, have some limitations. The Cloud Key Gen 1 was designed for controlling small networks. This meant around 10 to 20 devices maximum and a client load somewhere between 50 and 100 devices max. Depending on what the network was doing and how it was configured, this could go up or down as the Cloud Key would be gathering information as required and allowing the administrator of the network, whether that be home or business, to view this in a simple dashboard. A low amount of RAM and the limited CPU also prevent a few things from working properly on the Cloud Key One in the latest GUIs. Uh, it causes some hesitation and uh, lack of smooth operation, shall we say. But uh, this is often on networks where there's a lot of data being gathered and there are some specific requirements uh, in the Cloud Key One interface when you're using the Unify network app that help prevent issues occurring and uh, alongside this one of the advantages of the Gen 2 platform that the Cloud Key 1 never got 
is the ability and the remote access to actually manage the physical device. Uh, you cloud access uses uh, what is now called the legacy portal. And if you're familiar with the self-hosted or cloud-hosted Unify controllers, uh, your cloud key gen ones appear alongside those, not alongside obviously the newer devices in the Unify portal. One of the good factors on this, however, is when you set up a cloud key gen one, you do not have to sign in with a Unify account. Uh, this, I believe, has now come back to the other devices, but it was one of the plus points of the Gen 1. The Cloud Key is, however, still in support from Ubiquiti. It has not been announced as end of life yet, as of 10th of October 2021, and the latest firmware versions are 1.1.19 for the actual Unify uh, Cloud Key firmware, and 6.4.54 for the Unified Network Controller app. And this will install quite happily on the device. Now the important question, is the Cloud Key Gen 1 still a viable device in 2021? And the answer is yes, but with limitations. If you're looking for a simple way to manage a small Unified Network, without having to host it on either your own devices, your own system in the cloud, or you don't want to fork out yet for a Gen 2, Gen 2 Plus, then yes, it will be fine. It will do the job. And until such time as Ubiquiti end of life the device and stop full support, it's probably one of the easiest ways to run a small local controller on a site. But, you are going to want to make sure that you do not go above and beyond the limits of the device. This was not designed for big networks. I would suggest 10 to 15 devices maximum. Uh, I probably actually recommend not really going much above 10 devices in the way and probably 30 to 50 clients at a push uh, on a fairly sort of sensible, not overly busy network. For home networks and for very small businesses, it's still a viable device. Uh, if you want to just set, forget and remotely access the device. Uh, but that is some of the, the limitations. You will, however, want to also make sure that your networking, so your PoE switch that powers the device, or if you are powering it via USB, uh, the socket that it is plugged into does have a UPS on it. The issues, although appear to have been fixed mostly, we've not had any Cloud Key Gen 1s go wrong for quite some time, but we have been retiring a lot of them out. Um, it cannot hurt. They're cheap, they're effective, they keep things on. And that, again, reliability can be helped by uh, keeping the power on and keeping the device online so that it can be shut down. One of the notable differences with the Cloud Keys, the Gen 1s, this being an early Gen 1, having the USB or mini USB on the front does not have the power button on the side. This one, however, being a later one, has the USB-C connection and does have a power button on the side, which you can press to shut down the device. There have been in the past a lot of people in the community that categorically state never to use a cloud key. Um, I disagree. We've not had any real dramas with the cloud keys. Uh, we've had a lot of old cloud keys running for a long time. We've moved customers over to the newer cloud key, especially the Gen 2 Pluses, and we don't get issues with them. You just maintain them as long as you're not doing anything crazy with them. Generally, we have had no problems. Uh, we still have cloud keys out there running and they are doing their job. They are behaving themselves. They've been running for a very long time. And obviously since I think version 1.1.13 of the firmware uh, seems to have solved a lot of the issues behind the scenes. Um, the vast majority, I think we've sold probably 10 cloud keys on and they've all gone to homes. And as far as I'm aware, they're still working fine. Haven't had anyone complain about them. Haven't had anyone get in contact to say this doesn't work. So the cloud key is still albeit limited, a viable device. If you are looking for one, have a hunt on eBay, have a hunt on Facebook. They are around. The price actually has been going up just due to the shortage of chips. But just be aware that 
if you are looking for something to run a very simple, very basic Unify network to leverage the hardware, they are still around, they are still a good piece of kit, and they do still work. Hopefully this has been helpful, and hopefully it will help you get started if you're looking at a small Unify network, uh, trying to manage existing one. Now, any questions, please feel free to comment below. I expect one or two people may want to, to query on this. Always happy to answer. Um, also, uh, as most of you watching this, are currently not subscribed, I would appreciate a subscription. Press the button wherever it is, somewhere down there on your machine. Uh, it would be appreciated just to help me build the channel a bit more. Uh, the more we build the channel, the more time I can dedicate to it. Unfortunately, I haven't got much time with work. We are busy installing Unify networks all over the place along with Unify Protect systems. Uh, so if you are looking for that in the UK, uh, we do cover the whole southwest of the UK up into London and further abroad if needed. Now, uh, that is uh, all I have to say on the matter. Thank you for watching and I uh, will catch you again soon.